warns Kenya allegedly drank at two restaurants even though he was underage. And as college students start flooding back into the triangle for another school year, state authorities are increasing their efforts to combat the problem. WNCNC Sprache joins us live from Glenwood Avenue with more on the effort to ensure students have proper legal IDs. Steve. Well, Sharon, this is one of the places students love to come because of the proliferation of clubs and bars, but the places that serve alcohol have to be mighty careful that they're not being shown a fake ID. When you look for your expiration date, it's just right above the birth date. Manager Scott Jankovic sees all kinds of IDs here at Tobacco Road Sports Cafe, a place where they ID everybody. And he says spotting fakes requires a lot of care these days. You have to really research out the different uh, states and what their IDs look like too, so you gotta be aware of that. For those who sell alcohol, the penalties for serving to underage drinkers are severe. Thousand dollar fine, um, you can lose your liquor license if you do uh, serve somebody. Getting those fake IDs is easy, say students. Most people buy them online from like China. And there are a lot of websites out there that you can just illegally order them through. Um, it's usually not that hard. Sure enough, we went online and found companies based in China which will create any kind of fake ID that you want. Most people would have a fake ID of under 21. How prevalent was it? Pretty prevalent. The underage issue is compounded by foreign students. They are used to go to clubs uh, at 18, but mm -hmm. here they can, so they use fake IDs to going to clubs. And not all the underage drinking among college students happens because they're using fake IDs. It seems more prevalent that people who are underage will get people who are of age to buy alcohol for them. Next week, ALA begins training programs aimed at teaching those who deal with alcohol and sell alcohol what to look for in an ID to make sure it's the real thing. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, WNCN News. Good idea.